My name is Saji Naya and I'm from Malaysia. I've done my Masters of Arts in Corporate Communications. I graduated in 2010 and I've been in Denmark for a little more than three and a half years now. Right, and your position at Yuska Bank is? I'm, I'm a market, marketing consultant at Yuska Bank. Okay, Yuska Bank. Many of our viewers today may not know what Yuska Bank is. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about it. Well, Yuska Bank is the second largest bank in Denmark and it's also ranked as one of the most safest and strongest banks in Europe. And not many people know this, but Yuska Bank has international units out of Denmark. And I mainly work with these international units. Okay. You're a foreign uh, employee here in Denmark. Yeah? You were a foreign student. Can you talk a little bit about what it was like being a foreign student at, at, uh, at the university? I think it was extremely fun because there was a lot of different activities as well. Was, there was a very good life, uh, fun and work balance. Uh, there were a lot of uh, activities organized by the Career Center and ASB alumni and the university as well. So I think, you know, when I joined ASB, I was working, but uh, it was a very nice break to just study again and take a, and relax again and you know have a little bit of fun and learn a new culture. Okay. What does it mean to you to be a graduate from the university, to be an alum from the university? I think it's very nice that Aarhus University is ranked, you know, it, it's ranked... Top 100. Yeah, the top 100 university and I, I like that and I think that sells because if I'm going to apply for jobs out of Denmark, I could easily say that. I am an alumni from a top-ranked university. Um, that helps a lot. And, and how have you stayed connected to the university since you graduated? You know, I'm a part of Connect, um, the ASB Alumni Social Network. I try to go for all those interesting events that they, that they have, but because I work in Silkevo, it's quite difficult for me to reach Aarhus or go to Copenhagen in time for these events. But what I do now is I uh, teach part-time at Aarhus School of Business. I teach cultural theory and analysis. And I think it's great because I not only get to share with the students the theory, but also my personal experience in coming from a different culture right. and working in a different culture. So that's how I get to contribute the very least I can. Is there any advice that you would like to pass along to current students or potential students? What you really need to do is, I think, break down that uh, defense system, you know, put away your professional baggage, come with a ve very open mind, be a clean sheet of white paper, absorb the culture, find out what it is, listen and uh, watch, observe, um, and then you would get to really enjoy Denmark.